we're cutting most of this up. We can make like five or six different shapes. Workers literally bend steel before our eyes at the fabrication yard of Coral Steel and Supply near West Palm Beach. It's kind of a cool business. The company makes reinforcing steel or rebar. Coral Steel and Supply here has a true pulse on the market. This company sells its rebar to construction projects here in the States and overseas. We have a fairly um, brisk business in the export market, uh, mostly to the Bahamas. Coral Steel owner Lee Disbury says the bulk of the steel being cut and molded here comes from domestic suppliers. Yeah, all over. Those coils on that machine, those are from Spain. But some comes from overseas. This one down here, that's from Italy. This is Turkish Jacksonville. Disbury says as soon as there were hints of tariffs, the prices started to climb. The way it was actually handled, it's been a huge detriment. Others in the metals industry say market forces were also at work here, but the bottom line right now is a volatile time for steel prices, and Disbury says he has to bid projects months in advance. You're locked into contracts down here, and the cost is now up here, and you got to fulfill that like contract. It's a little painful. And I'm stuck with having to sell what I contracted for six months ago over an eight-month period and my costs have doubled in some cases. And he says some smaller jobs are on hold because of the increased costs. In the long term, Disbury says adding jobs in our domestic steel industry would be a good thing. But he criticizes how President Trump rolled out the tariffs. The volatility and the uncertainty is what is really driving the market concern. Near West Palm Beach, Chuck Weber. CBS 12 News.